Hello and welcome to the workout of the week from Escape Fitness. Tommy Matthews here with Andy Phillips to demonstrate some great exercises with free weights. We've got three of possibly the best free weight training tools around, the barbell, the dumbbell, and the kettlebell. Pieced together, we can create a fantastic anaerobic conditioning workout, and that's the focus and outcome of this little workout for you. Nice and simple. The reps escalate, the reps go up as the training tool gets more dynamic. Okay, so with the barbell, you're going to do five reps of your full clean. With the dumbbell, ground to overhead, you're going to do 10 reps. With the kettlebell, you're going to do 15 reps of overhead swings. It's going to start to get you towards the end of those kettlebells, and that's the idea. Big exercise to start off with, heavy load. Load goes down a little bit for the dumbbells, and load goes down a little bit more for the kettlebells. But as the load goes down, the speed of the movement goes up, and that's the essential thing to increase force output power output and get that anaerobic conditioning effect that we're looking for. So let's have a look, Andy Phillips. Here we go. It's time for the clean. It's going to be a full clean. So when we're performing a full clean, we're driving through, we're getting that full pull, finishing off the third pull before we drop into a full, full recovery position into our squat. Off we go, five reps. Very nice. Andy happens to be a pretty competent weightlifter. So you're seeing a great demonstration here of good technique, good strong technique, good range of motion, good recovery position, and finishing off the clean every single time. Once he's completed his five reps, move the bar away straight into your dumbbells. No rest in between the exercises. The rest comes at the end. Ground to overhead is essentially picking up two dumbbells off the floor and putting them overhead. There we go, now we're talking, okay? Dumbbells, obviously, free weight, they move, they challenge you, very different to a, dar to a barbell, so you've got to really work to stabilize across the shoulder joint here. This is not supposed to be easy, this is supposed to get you going, Andy's going to have to work it. I, have to, I had to force him to pick up the 20s earlier on, he wasn't too sure about it. We want to make you work in this, in this workout. It's really going to get you going by the end of it, but you'll notice that the combination of three training tools works really, really well together. Good work, Andy, keep it going, this is awesome. Use the body, use the body. Nice, great stuff. So you see how he has to use his body. He's almost be performing a power jerk there with his, uh, with his lower body to get that weight up there, okay? It's two hands anyhow. However, you need to get that weight up above the head with locked out elbows. Excellent, finishing off with the kettlebell swing. We've got 15 reps here to go. Overhead swings, locking out the elbow above the head. The, elbow, the arm just needs to come in line with the ears. There we go, and pull it back down again. So now this is dynamic, the speed is in increased but the load has gone down, okay? So essentially, it's achievable. Yes, it's very difficult, but it's definitely gonna be achievable. If you try to do the power clean at the end of this, or the, the full clean at the end of this, it'd be very unachievable as a workout. But this pattern and this sequencing makes a very good anaerobic conditioning workout, okay? He's gonna be pushing his heart rate, heart rate up way above 80% of his max heart rate. That's where the challenge is gonna be. That's where you're gonna get your anaerobic adaptation, and that's what we're focusing on in this workout. Exercises here, you need to learn them first, obviously. You need to make sure you learn these exercises, perfect the technique before you get into it. Let's have a listen to that heart rate. It's high. I wish we had a heart rate monitor on him right now because he's, he's working hard. So that's what it's all about. You need to have at least 60 seconds off be before your next round. I would recommend, depending on the, the rate of heart rate that he gets to and the speed that he, and the, the work that he's putting in there, I'd recommend a lot more than that. It just depends. You need to work out the recovery periods yourself with your client. If they start to lose form very quickly in their second round, then probably not a good idea um, to give them a short rest period, so increase the recovery period. Other than that, you should be aiming for kind of four rounds of that at least to get a good anaerobic adaptation across a longer period of time. Hope you enjoy that, guys. That's a really nice little workout for you. Get involved with it. Let us know how you get on with it, and we look forward to seeing you next time on the Workout of the Week.